saying things people already know out loud is tight. Get out of my head! You park in front of your house, I park in front of my house. This is... Hey! If you don't stop, I will contact the usher. What's up everyone, it's Adam from FWCI. We're back with another episode of The Fielder Method. Episode 4, this one is apparently where Nathan goes and trains a whole bunch of people uh, to, who are going to be actors on his show, which I'm really interested to see how that all process works. Anything behind the scenes of this show is very fascinating to me, just purely because of the way the show is put together and what it does and what it achieves and how it's structured. It is unbelievably unique in that aspect. Now, I have watched episodes two and three. The audio didn't work on the reaction, so there's no reaction to upload. But this show's getting pretty goddamn scary. What happened to Patrick? The, the guy who wiped the old man's ass just so that they could simulate the feeling of uh, his grandfather dying. <laughs> I mean, come on. That was uh, unbelievable. He, he's gone? He disappeared? Like, what the hell happened to that guy? So, I don't know what the hell we're going to get in this one here. I know never to expect the expected with this show. So let's check out episode four, The Fielder Method. Do you like spaghetti? I do. Oh, Angela. Oh God. Yeah, she's a bit wacky, kid, man. Your... All that stuff about like Satanists I, I, and I, I, sacrifices on Halloween. Oof. I'd be very worried if I was the parent of one of the kids that was in her care. Acid. You did acid? Yep. All right. What? Cocaine. You did cocaine? Yep. I don't believe her, to be honest. What the hell is she doing, by the way? What are you doing with the noodles there? I'm seeing how done they are. Oh, okay. Yeah. Mm. All you need to do, grab a noodle out the, uh, grab some spaghetti out of the thing and flick it against the wall. If it sticks, then it's done. And I wanted a way to create a standard for the level of realism I needed for this project. Hmm. <laughs> Preparing an actor for a rehearsal is sort of like a spy mission, and I wanted them to learn how to do it themselves, as well as improve on mistakes we had made in the past. So is your method based upon like literally a slice of life with this person and then creating reenactments based off this one experience? My point is that this didn't go far enough. Okay. It sounds like we're gonna secretly follow somebody around for a while. <laughs> yeah. They have a way of channeling other people's emotions that Wait a minute, are we gonna find out that he's hired like 50,000 actors and has done 8,000 rehearsals of this exact scene with all these actors? Oh, there's too many actors in that equation. I don't fully- Just in hearing you talk about this, um, it's like the Suzuki method, which is physical uh, and it's about- Suzuki? Yeah, and it's about filling the form. This is not what he's looking for, guys. And what's You're gonna go out into the real world and pick a real person to become your primary and you're gonna secretly observe and interact with them and find out as much as you can about them. And then you're gonna come back tomorrow dressed like them. Okay? Any other questions? Uh, <laughs> oh okay. my God. Cool. I decided to recreate the class using different actors to portray each person so I could relive the day. <laughs> I fucking knew it. I knew it. I had picked a random student to inhabit, an actor named Thomas who- Oh god, that was him! Putting myself in his- <laughs> I thought that hair looked suspiciously fake. I wondered if my fellow students felt the same way, but I couldn't really see their faces well because of how the chairs were arranged. Okay. I'm down with that idea. It's a good way to engage the uh, the class with each other as well. Um, so it was good. I'm like, oh, but I noticed some students were struggling. <clears throat> Is she Meg from Family Guy? <laughs> Just disrupt the situation. Yeah, and then maybe you know it might lead to a more personal conversation, perhaps. Okay, gotcha. When I relived the day from Thomas's perspective, <laughs> it proved my instincts to be right. <laughs> <laughs> Once in a while, I would try to check in with Angela. <laughs> Let me guess, she doesn't like taking phone calls? Too much um, radiation for the skull? 
but I now knew that to take on the mind of a stranger, it wasn't enough to just talk to them. The level of immersion had to be deeper. Where the fuck is this going, by the way? This episode is suspiciously... Um... Uh, humbling at the moment. We're suspiciously humble. With, uh... Telling him that I lost my lucky guitar pick that I got from my dad. Okay. And then... Is that true? No, that was a lie. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. Got it. I mean, I don't really like lying to people in general. Yeah, you're not right for this job then, buddy. See you later, Thomas. That's what makes me feel kind of weird about it sometimes. About doing this... This specific kind of stalking trick. <laughs> the fielder method. <laughs> Which was interesting, because I had not felt that when Whoops. I was him. The stalking slash fielder method. It's not wrong. This time, I was focused on really getting into his mindset. I wonder what these actors think going through this over and over again. <laughs> I don't know any of these legal terms. This would take me hours to read. Yeah, where in there does it say you let us enter your house and take a digital map? of the interior of your home. Uh, it's all standard. Signature is on the fourth page. Right, sorry, yeah. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Great, we'll see you tomorrow. Yeah. Okay. yeah you shouldn't be doing that, lady. <laughs> These actors off to work for an entire week as someone else. But how much is enough? What? How do you ever know you truly understand someone? How much further are you gonna take this, man? Are you going to relocate all these people for the rest of their fucking lives? Hey. Hey, how you doing? Good. Going through the exact experience he had with his primary. He could have just done this anyway. <laughs> I'm a dog walker for this dog walking app, and my primary was this director. And I, I actually got into his house. But this time, what? it felt different. So hang on, what job is she doing? <laughs> my marble coffee table. My TV. Is he gonna buy my black a and town? white toilet? The illusion was That's kind of a cool toilet. Words I never thought I'd say. Cool. Uh, how soon can you move? As soon as I have to. So I rented him a similar place and hired two actors to play his roommate. <laughs> what? What is the point of all this? I said Matt, but we play your roommates. I told him I would collect his mail for him and water his plants while he was away plant in my bathroom. Maybe HBO can flick somebody 50 bucks to do that. So while Thomas was going deeper into his character, I would go deeper into mine. How do they know he's staying in character and he's not just like, man, I'm in this weird fucking show. What jobs have you guys had lately? Oh, fuck. Is he gonna live in the fucking guy's house? That looks like a little kid's room, man. I began living in his home. Are they like now just making fun of their um, contracts by like pointing it out? What he plays. Using the weapons he uses. <laughs> reading what he reads. I don't think he's reading that. <laughs> I continued following the lesson plan until I was working at an Ubatuba also. A different one from Thomas, so he wouldn't know. He, he lives with uh, a couple of his bandmates in Sherman Oaks, in okay. like an apartment. Okay. Cool. How soon can you move? <laughs> oh, another layer of... <laughs> Come on. There were still parts of Thomas that were a mystery to me. Really? But maybe that's as close as you can get. This convoluted experience not explaining who he is as a person? What a shot. This would be an unbelievable experience for these actors though, like... Once in a lifetime kind of thing. No one, ev no one is ever going to put the money into helping you learn your craft like Nathan Fielder has. Alright! I'd love to see how her week as a mechanic went. And now we're going back to Oregon or wherever the hell we were. Hey, Dad. Oh, hey. Oh, Christ. Adam. I was telling him that he's more mainstream and I'm more underground. Like, I like to find eclectic underground artists. Oh, God, she's annoying. I had been gone for nine years. <laughs> 
you mind if I talk to you for a sec as you? What's your na name again? Adam. No, no, like, oh. can I talk to you as, as the actor? Oh. What's your, what's your Don't break his brain, man. Okay, so your dad comes home after being gone mm -hmm. for nine years. How do you think you... <laughs> he comes home and it's almost like, hey, what's up? You doing good? Mm -hmm. That's a good point. That is a good point. Do you mind if we try me coming home again, but using that? Uh, like that that feeling? Yeah. Yeah, totally. I don't. Yeah. 100%. Okay. <laughs> All right. What did we learn from this, Fielder? Dad not around. Situationer. Um, yeah, I, I I know a couple people. Do you think you'd be able to just? Maybe spend time with one of them or, or the, the friend and take it in or? Mm, yeah, I um, I think that's actually a great idea. I think I can definitely do that. This, <laughs> why though? Some of this uh, investigating is getting very abstract. Okay, where are you going? What, where, what friends? My friends were probably gonna go drinking. You're gonna go drinking? What type of drinks would you have, do you think? Tequila, vodka. Just like his old lady. <laughs> Just don't get into the cocaine. Wow, you're the one to talk about coming home? Okay, come on. Hey, you can't, you can't just go. <gasps> oh my God, Adam. Angela's gonna have to deal with him having a kid. Oh yes, all right, all right. I see where this is going now. I'm gonna fix it. <laughs> I'm gonna fix it. <laughs> All right, let's rehearse that again, buddy. Like, I think drugs is like the next level. Yeah. Like drugs, you name it, we've done it probably. What kind of degenerate are they gonna turn him into? You know, like cocaine or like, you know, Molly and that stuff. And that's all because his dad situation? Um, I mean, yeah, I okay. think so. You're not a dad, okay? <laughs> you weren't then and you're not now. Your anger is not gonna go away if you numb it with drugs and alcohol. Okay, this was the problem I had. I, I hated my dad. I hated my dad, and I went to drugs and alcohol. I wish I would have been <laughs> Great parenting. Nathan's sitting there like, dude. <laughs> Good work, Angela. Uh, how would you feel about going back to age six? Oh, I guess, um, could you help me understand what the purpose would be of going back? Oh. It's the rehearsal. That's why. So now they're going back to age six. I hope they bring this kid back. Adam? <clears throat> um, when he gets back to the teenage years and he's just completely fucked. <laughs> Adam, Adam, you okay? Are you okay? Breathe, 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 breathe. Breathe, breathe, breathe. breathe. <laughs> Angela! Angela! What? Adam, Adam, stay with me. Are you okay? Are you okay? Adam. 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 Oh my what's going god. On? Okay. It's oh all right. my god. I don't know what's happening. I don't know what's happening to him. Oh my god. I don't know. I don't know what's happening. I don't know what's happening with him. Nathan, you're not a good actor, man. But oh my god. Oh, two stat 86. Okay, how are you feeling? You good? Are you okay? What are you doing? No, no, stay, stay. Hey, You're safe, Adam. Hey, safe. hey, hey, hey! <laughs> hey! <laughs> Come on, Angela. This is your opportunity to uh, make it all right. Oh, my God. Have you seen a 15 year old boy around here? No, I haven't. I've seen an older man walking around over here. An older man? No, no, that wouldn't be him. Okay. <laughs> It's easy to assume that others think the worst of you, but when you assume what others think, maybe all you're doing is turning them into a character that only exists in your mind. That's actually quite deep. Sometimes all it takes is a change in perspective to make the world feel brand new. <laughs> all right. Uh Let's not turn this one into a fucking drug addict this time. <laughs> oh no, we just created another timeline. Is that it? 
Oh my god. Oh man. This show just gets weirder and weirder. I don't know what half of the point of that was. And I don't think we even got to like a um a reason for that. That was was that like a filler episode? I feel like the next episode is gonna be crazy because that one felt like talking to the actors is kind of a filler like storyline and we reset adam back to age six as well so we've kind of undone a whole bunch of shit as well this is getting to be like a x-men days of future past <laughs> there's an alternate future drug addict adam is hanging out with um patrick stewart and now we've got this new one that's gonna hang out with james mcavoy <laughs> so let me know in the comments what you guys thought about this one this was a very weird episode but i'm gonna keep smashing through these because i know this for a finale something fucking insane is gonna happen and it's gonna be hilarious so thanks for the support everyone and as always be well stay safe look after your friends see you in the next video peace